At Southeast Water, we deliver water to over 1.6 million people in Melbourne, which adds up to delivering over 350 million litres of clean, fresh drinking water to everyone. Once the water has been used, we then collect it again to clean and treat, collecting 330 million litres per day. The natural water cycle is the key to how the Earth naturally moves water around. It's why it rains and why there's rivers and how we're able to catch and store clean drinking water. Heat from the sun warms the water. This turns the liquid water into a gas or water vapour which rises into the air. This is known as evaporation. As the water vapour moves up higher and higher into the sky, it starts to cool down, turning back into tiny droplets of liquid water. This is known as condensation and is what causes clouds to form. As these droplets of water join together to become bigger drops, they become too heavy to stay in the air and fall back down to earth as rain, hail or snow. This is known as precipitation. This water that goes around and around is the same water we collect and deliver to the people in the southeast of Melbourne. Earth has always had the same water and because there's no new water coming in from space, we could be drinking the same water as the dinosaurs. This cycle goes on and on and naturally cleans and moves water around the Earth, time and time again. This has been happening since the Earth was formed and the natural water cycle keeps the water clean for it to be used over and over again. Even though water is all around us and the Earth is covered in it, only about 1% of the water can be used and is drinkable. This is because most of it is either too salty or it's frozen or it's too deep underground to reach. Because having a steady supply of this clean, fresh water is so precious, a dam was built up in the hills a long way from the city. This protected catchment, built away from any roads or buildings, collects and stores the water when it rains, providing Melbourne with some of the best drinking water in the world. The dam holds the water there until we need to use it for things like drinking, taking a shower, washing our clothes, watering our garden and flushing the toilet. Southeast Water has more than 13,000 kilometres of pipe to get the clean, fresh water from the dam to everyone in the southeast of Melbourne. So we have to make sure our pipes aren't leaking or blocked to make sure no one goes without water. As more people move to Melbourne, they will need clean fresh water as well. As the city grows, there are more and more people using water around their homes. This means we need more and more water from our dam, so we need to make sure there is always going to be enough water for everyone. Because we have weather that changes, we also need to make sure there's enough water when there's not much rain. In 1997, the Thompson Dam was 100% completely full. But 11 years later in 2008, it was only a quarter full. This is because Melbourne experienced a drought. This meant we weren't able to catch enough rain in the dams. Yet everyone kept using just as much water. And so we started to run out. Everyone in Melbourne made small changes to use less water, like having shorter showers and not watering their garden as much, and that made a huge difference. It meant Melbourne didn't use as much water, and we had enough for everyone even when it didn't rain as much. We now have good storage levels. Each one of us uses 15 buckets of water on average per day. We don't drink that much, but we use it around the home. We use it outside in the garden to water our plants and wash the car. In the kitchen, we use it to cook our food and wash our dirty dishes. We also use it to wash our clothes and to clean our teeth. And we use nearly a third of it in the shower and the bath to keep ourselves clean. And when we're at school, most of the water we use is to flush the toilet. 
Because our water is precious, we need to save water where we can, so we don't waste it and don't run out. We can reduce our use by using the half flush button for we and the full flush button for poo. At home, instead of having a really long shower, we can use a timer to remind us to have four minute showers and change to a water efficient shower head to use less water. Instead of letting the tap run when we clean our teeth, we can use a cup to rinse our mouth. Instead of watering the garden with a hose, we can water our plants with a trigger nozzle or a watering can. We can also put mulch on the garden to keep the water in. And instead of using the dishwasher or washing machine to wash only an item or two, we should only turn them on when they're full. We can also collect rainwater from the roof. The roof of our house is a huge area which catches a lot of rain. So if we store it in a tank, we can use it all year round to flush our toilet, wash our clothes and water our garden. In some areas of Melbourne, we can also use recycled water around the home. Recycled water is water that has been cleaned and treated at the sewage treatment plant. And it always comes from a purple pipe or tap. You can't drink or shower with it, but there are many things it is safe to do with it. You can water your garden, flush your toilet, and wash your car with it. It can also be used to water crops on farms and keep footy ovals green. All the little things help to make sure there's enough fresh, clean water for everyone. Please remember, love every drop.